One of the first modifications I'd like to do to my 2021 XSR900 is get rid of these big goofy turn signals, both in the rear and the front. And at the same time, I'm gonna do a tail tidy uh, to clean up the fender, as well as replace the uh, headlight brackets uh, that hold the headlight bucket. This is actually one of the less offensive rear tails I've seen on a modern motorcycle. It doesn't come out too far. The light is pretty simple. I actually like the look, but ultimately I'm going for having no tail at all with the light tucked underneath the seat and the license plate tucked even further beneath. So I ordered the new Raid Cycles kit and it's about as tucked as possible. So let me open up the box and I think this part will be a pretty straightforward installation. So this kit really just comes with two pieces. One is the uh, light itself, which is just a piece of, it looks like a painted steel and a light bar that goes around with some uh, foam padding that goes in between the light and the bike and the license plate mount, which also has a light. The kit also comes with a little bit of hardware, but, but looking at how few holes there are and the fact that this comes with, uh, it looks like the correct plugs already mounted on the harness, this should be pretty easy. And the lights are going too fast because I do not have an LED uh, relay in here. Uh, I actually ordered one. I'm going to see if I can't pull the one off the Grom since uh, that's out of commission at the moment while I wait for the other one, but looks like everything works. Okay, so to replace these bulky orange turn signals, I've got the Moto Gadget Mo.Blaze pin lights, and those are going to go inside these Moto Demic brackets that are going to look hopefully much cleaner than this. Okay, so I think that's a night and day difference. And so with just the tail tidy and cleaning up the lights and the headlight bucket brackets, the bike now looks the way that I want it to. The only thing left actually are these mirrors and I have something on order that's gonna clean that up. And then I think this looks awesome. Lots of small things that I still wanna do, but these were the main things and it made a big difference. Uh, so these lights, the Moto Gadget Blaze dot pins, they're actually pretty bright. They're obviously flashing too quickly because I don't have the relay. The relay that I had in the Grom is a different shape, so I'll have to wait until Monday to get the uh, TST one plugged in, but that's a very simple installation. Something to be mindful of though, uh, just like the LEDs that I did put on the Grom, you lose the constant on of the uh, front markers when the engine's on. So. If that's something that's important to you, uh, these don't have that. They only turn on when you indicate signal. I assume that uh, emergencies also work. All right, so I think those two were probably the most important modifications from an aesthetic point of view. The stock signals, and I'm sure it's regulatory, just look hideous and really take away from the bike, but having those off and replaced with particularly these two setups that are just so incredibly felt I think make a really big difference so tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful weather so I'll be doing a ride and I'll throw some pics on Instagram and I've got some cool stuff on the way so thank you everybody for watching stay tuned for more videos and keep on building